Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you really easy and step by step how to make this Christmas pine branch earrings. Support me by liking, sharing and commenting. Also subscribe with the bell if you still haven't and in this way you give me signals to continue with my work and that you like it. Support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Without further delay, let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are four colors of 11 on seed beads. I'm using only six golden beads and a lot of light green beads, dark green beads also and brown beads. And here I'm also using HO beads only four of them and I use them in golden color. By the way, you could use 10 -0 seed beads instead of 11 -0, but all of them should be 10 -0. And here what I use are four 6 mm red pearls and two 8 mm red pearls. Here I'm using earring findings and jump rings. This is monofilament that is 0.15 millimeters or 0.006 inches and this is size 11 beading needle you could use size 12 as well and here I'm also using scissors and these are flat nose pliers that I used to attach here the jump rings to my work and now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back okay guys and i'm starting my work by taking a light green and a brown and then again a light green and a brown okay this is my first step i'm sliding those beads down i will stick my needle in my mat and here what i want to do is to make a knot and i make it by making a loop and going twice through the loop i've made and i'm pulling and then I'm making one more knot just to be sure it's all tight and secure okay guys now I want to go through this green bead and after that through this brown bead And at this step, guys, I'm taking only three beads, a green, a brown, and a green. And I'm going back in circle through this brown one. Okay, I have this. Now I want to reinforce this step. Okay, now I have this, then I take a green, a brown and a green, I go backwards through this brown one, and after that I reinforce. Another advice is if you work with monofilament, don't stretch it because it will get curly and you won't be able to work with it. Okay, then again I take green, brown and green and I go back like this. Okay, then again, I 
Okay guys, and I will continue this off camera until I have 13 of those beautiful brown beads in a row and I'll be back. Okay guys, and here I am and I have 13 brown beads in a row. And here in this step I need a green, a golden atoll and a green. And I'm going back in circle through this brown bead. Okay. And reinforcing. Now what I want to do is go through this green bead and I'm taking one of my 8mm pearls and a golden bead. I slide those down just like this. Then I skip the golden and go directly through the pearl. And then I go through this green bead. Okay, this is what I have now. In my next step, guys, I'm going through this brown bead here. That is why maybe it's a good idea to use 10 all seed beads uh, for this work, not 11 alls because we are going too many times through those beads or to use size 12 beading needle okay now i'm going through this golden bead i'm taking one of the smaller pearls and a golden bead i slide this one down Skip the golden and go directly through the pearl. Okay. Another six millimeter pearl and a golden bead. Slide those down. Go back through the pearl and through this golden. Okay, then I have this. And in my next step, guys, I want to add here one more of those beautiful golden beads. And I'm going backwards through this golden that I have here. Backwards through it. Okay, now what I want to do is exit one more time through this green bead. Okay, now I have this. Then what I want to take here are six light green beads and one dark bead. Okay, I slide those down just like this. Then what I want to do, guys, is keep this green bead that's on my way and go backwards through all of those beads. And I want to uh, exit from the other side and transfer to the other green bead. And always turn your work the way it's easier for you. Okay. Here I'm going to repeat the same thing. Six light green beads and one dark.
slide those down. Skip this one that's on my way. And go like this. Now you see symmetrically what I have. And I'm circling around guys like this. Because I want with no thread showing to go in the next green. Okay, this one. And I take six green beads and one dark green. Slide those down. Skip the dark green and go backwards like this. Now I want to exit out of this green. That is why I'm going through the brown one. And then from the other side through the green. Okay, then again I take six green beads and one dark green. I slide those down, skip the dark green and go backwards like this. Now one more time through this brown and you might want to use your pliers at some point. Okay guys, and I'm going to continue these steps, but when I'm five uh, brown beads away from the end, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. One, two, three, four, five. So when I'm up to this part here, and I up this one and this one the same way, I'll be back to show you the difference that we're going to be doing until the end. Okay guys, and as I continue beading, here I am exiting after the fifth brown bead counting from here one two three four five and the different thing that i do here is that i take five light greens and one dark green bead instead of six like i did before and i'm doing absolutely the same thing i'm going like this and backwards through those beads Okay, here I will also have five light green beads and one dark green bead and then I will continue decreasing four, three and when I'm up to here I'll be back again to tell you what's coming up next. So as I continue decreasing what I have is five, four and three beads and here I will add only one green bead and one dark green. Okay. 
I do this from the other side as well. And here I take just a, a light green and a dark green, slide it, skip this one and go through the following, and then uh, the same thing. I'm going through this light green and then at this point I'm adding only one dark green. Okay, now I have this and in my next step what I need to do is to make a knot and cut my thread. And how I do this, I find a place let's say here next to the brown bead I go like this make a loop, go twice through the loop I've made then pull then I go through the brown one And then I cut this tail thread. And now guys, what I need to do is to take this jump ring here, open this one up and go through this bead at the end. And because I want this to be the front part with the pearls, I will put my earring finding in this direction. Okay guys, and now my pine branch Christmas earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe. Also hit the bell button and in this way you will know when I make new tutorials, usually twice a week and you will be inspired often. You could also check description for useful resources and a Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. I will be so happy to see them. Support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Thank you so much for staying here with me until the end. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.